Today is Holy Thursday and we are here in Morocco, Soweto, and specifically in this vast, beautiful, awe-inspiring church of the Regina Mundi. Uh, this is the largest Roman Catholic church in South Africa. It was designed by Anthony Slavin, built in 1962, opened in 1963. It remains the spiritual epicenter of the community. Despite its obvious religious function, the Regina Mundi has always been a very important space for political gatherings. In fact, on the 16th of June 1976, in the aftermath of the shootings, many, many student protesters gathered right here, took refuge under this A-frame roof. Police surrounded the building, as they did on that day and many, many days thereafter up until the early 1980s. And there are scars all around this church of that very violent, violent moment in our history. The roof is riddled with bullets. The altar behind me, the marble altar, was smashed by a policeman's rifle. It also houses a very special painting, a work titled The Madonna and Child of Soweto, but perhaps more commonly known more famously known as the Black Madonna. The Black Madonna was painted in 1973 by Larry Scully. It was commissioned by the Star newspaper uh, to help raise money for an education fund for black South Africans. It is vast, as you can no doubt tell, measuring eight foot high and five foot across. It was purchased by Harry Oppenheimer and promptly donated to the Regina Mundi Church uh, in Soweto uh, and unveiled in 1974. A second version of this special work has recently come to light and we're delighted to be offering it in our upcoming Cape Town auction. This second version is smaller and it was significantly executed in 1976. It was produced in direct response to the violent student uprisings in the June of that year, right here in Soweto. So popular was the Black Madonna that it was made into a significant print run. And the artist here uses one of those prints as part of this composition. You'll see it in the center. It has been applied onto this much larger canvas uh, around which the artist has painted this fantastic mustard yellow and luminous turquoise halo. He's also worked directly into the print. You'll see how the faces of both the Madonna and the child have been blackened out, almost as if an African identity has been erased by this awful violence. You'll notice, of course, that all-seeing squashed eye in the center of the composition. Now, that is a hugely important symbolic inclusion that the artist made. If you look very carefully, it has incredible detail. It includes a number of local landmarks. You'll see those little triangular elements, which of course reference the nearby homes and houses. You'll also see right in the center, across the light of the Catholic Church, the Regina Mundi in the center of Soweto. Those very violent forks coming in from the left and the right, uh, as well as that machete element in the bottom left, uh, signify, of course, the violence. But that center bright cross, uh, of course, suggests an enormous sense of hope. It's also very important to bear in mind that Larry Scully was an important local white South African artist. He had been born in Gibraltar, but he'd arrived as a teenager with his family before the Second World War. He was an out and out abstract painter more often than not, but he was deeply moved by the sense of social injustices that he was witnessing in the country, particularly in the 1960s and 1970s. And for him to paint such a deeply political work like this uh, is very moving and important. This amazing second version of the Black Madonna will be appearing in our Cape Town auction on Tuesday the 13th of April. It will be on show at Brickfield Canvas in Woodstock and we urge you to go have a close look at it alongside the other fabulous works uh, that will be going under the hammer from that Sunday through to the Tuesday.